What's up guys, this is Tech2 bringing you another tutorial and in this one we will learn how to create channel art for the new YouTube One channel design. And uh, what we want to do first is go to File, click New, and the dimensions that are recommended for the new design are 2560 as a width and as a height 1440. And I like to keep my background content as transparent and go ahead and name it whatever I'll name it channel art and click OK so this is our basic canvas and this represents what you will see if you were on a TV you would see the full canvas as a background but for what you would see on your computer we're going to create the basic guidelines so what you want to do is select your selection tool make sure you're in the info tab so you can see how many pixels you're selecting and if you see your inches instead of pixels what you would do is go to edit preferences units and rulers and then in there you would change it to pixels but mine's already set so what I'm gonna do is select the selection tool and just click and drag down until your height says 423 For the tutorial, I won't have to be exact, but and actually you want to click on the outside of the canvas and make sure you stretch across the whole canvas. 423. And what you're going to do is take your paint bucket tool and just fill it in with any random color. I prefer black and there you go there's your basic bar which shows you where you want to have your logo etc so after you've done that you want to select all everything in our canvas by control a and then you're gonna click the move tool and you're gonna locate this icon above that says align vertical centers click it and what this does is it, is it centers the bar or the selection guidelines in the middle of the canvas so this is this bar represents basically where we want to put our logo and everything that we would see if you were on a computer everything around the bar including it represents what you would see if you were on a TV so after you've done that you would want to create your background and whatever design for the tutorial I will just drag and drop this background I found on the internet to save time there you go make sure it's a nice large image that would have high resolution and there so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go up to your black bar layer or your selection guidelines layer and go to the opacity and drag it down to about enough to where you could slightly see it so you know where to create your logo and everything so that's about good for me so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to create my logo if you guys already have a pre-made logo you can just drag and drop it into the canvas what I'm gonna do is select the text tool and type out tack 2 maybe scale up the size to 300 and control A to select all and center it by pressing these two icons above and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a color that is lighter because the background is kind of dark it's easier to see and after I've done that what I like to do with a lot of my text is I create a new layer I fill it in with the paint bucket tool all white and what we're doing is we're gonna make a reflection on our text so hold the alt and move your cursor to in between your layer you just created the reflection layer and the text layer or your logo layer and once you see these two circles click what that'll do it it will transfer the layer on top to show up only when it's over the layer on the bottom so what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag up this layer 
and as you can see now we have this white line or this glossy look that kind of gives it a little more professionalism looks nicer overall then I double click the reflection layer to add some layer styles like a drop shadow play around with the settings and now we see we got a nice little chrome look just drag up the text a little bit and then under my logo or text I usually like to add like a little info about the channel so for tag 2 we'll just say HD tutorials and more and then scale down this text to go under it. Actually, let's go with 80. So, this basically shows you how to set up the basic outline for what you want to do. And then after this, I would go on to our layer, the black bar layer that shows us our guidelines, and click on this little icon. And what this does is it hides it from the final render. And now this will basically, whatever is in this black bar, we'll see on a computer. But if you were on a TV or a bigger screen, you would see whatever is on the outside of the bar. So yeah, just click on this icon, and after that, you can just file and save. Or you, well, I re recommend you add more onto yours. This was just for a tutorial, so yeah, it's kind of basic, not the best. Maybe add another reflection on the lower text or change the colors up. But yeah, this basically just shows you how to create the outline and just few tip, tips on how to create channel art for the new design so hope you enjoyed this short little tutorial and see you in the next one thanks